Hey, how's it going? I'm Wayne. I'm a product manager at Canon. With me today is Jerry. He's a product manager at Canon in charge of our replacement filters. Jerry, can you tell us a little bit about the Canon replacement filters? Well, the uh, Canon replacement filters are a washable, reusable lifetime filter. Uh, we have a very good application base. You know, we, we strive to build a filter for every car, so we should have a filter for your car when you go look for one. There's three parts of an air filter. You've got capacity, uh, flow, and efficiency, and we believe our filter is at the top of all three of those. So most cars come with a paper filter. What's the difference between that and our filter? The paper filters are obviously disposable. They couldn't stand being washed because the paper would deteriorate. So we had to design and build a filter that would able to be washed and able to put a, a detergent on it. So we have a urethane base, not a foam base. And we also have the, the oiled cotton that's sandwiched between two wire screens, which keep the filter together and be able to wash. All right, so obviously we know there's a lot of different applications for automotive vehicles. Are all the filters made the exact same way for each vehicle application? No, our filters are not all made the same way. Uh, we have a standard K&N filter that goes in standard type cars. That's our four layer standard cotton. Uh, for diesel applications, you know, with the turbo on these things and the, the, the power that they produce, we build bigger filters for those, but we put six plies of cotton in those. And we also have two different cotton makeups of our, our layered cotton. Uh, one is a little tighter weave and one is our standard one. So in anything that's kind of extra duty or heavy duty, we put our tight weave cotton in it and we put six layers of it in. Since K&N filters are made of cotton versus paper, what are the benefits of that? The paper filter, one of the, the non-benefits of it is it's disposable. So I think, uh, you know, most OEs say change it every 12, 15,000 miles. Another uh, disadvantage of a paper filter is what we call surface loading. It's only got one layer of protection. In a K&N filter, we sandwich four layers of weaved cotton um, which allows the, the dirt to get into different layers of the filter, which we call uh, depth loading. So it ends up being, you know, again, very efficient. The oil is a major part of our filter, which is what attracts the dirt and gets it, you know, uh, l loaded with dirt. And the actual, when it, when it first gets dirty, it actually filters a little bit better because it's created that that magnetism for the dirt. Do they perform well when they're dirty? Yes, we have a, uh, a nice lab that we test all our filters in and it, we can graph the dirt loading of that filter and it really, the flow does not substantially change for about three quarters of the dirt holding capacity. For three quarters of your, your capacity level to the filter, it's flowing pretty much as it did when it was right out of the box. We test every single replacement, automotive replacement filter that we do, uh, every power sport filter that we come out with. Uh, we built our lab some 10, 15 years ago to be able to do that kind of thing. Uh, we had a very reputable uh, testing facility build the equipment for us. So on every single filter that comes out for an automotive replacement uh, filter, we test it in our lab and we post our results on our website. So now when you say you test, is it a test procedure you guys came up with? Or is there like a standard, is there an industry standard that you guys follow? There is an absolute industry standard. It's called ISO 5011 and, the, and that is the protocol that we use to test our filters. One of the questions that I've heard a lot is that since we're all about horsepower, does a replacement Canyon filter actually increase horsepower? It can. Um, the one thing we don't do is we don't test them that often, but when we do, we do see one to two horsepower increases on most vehicles, but we can't claim that because we don't test everything. Does a lot of that have to do with just the driving conditions of the driver, the way they drive and stuff like that? It's really hard to duplicate that on a test? It is, and, and you know, um, we're not claiming horsepower with our replacement filters. If we did, we'd test every single one. Uh, the biggest attribute is that it's lifetime. It's washable, reusable, you never have to buy another one. Since you don't have to replace it, what would you say, is it a money savings compared to a paper filter? In the, the retail environment, they are a uh, little more than your paper filter. Uh, but in the end, you know, if you uh, drive your car 100,000 miles, how many times did you change a, a paper filter? If it's at the recommended intervals, it's probably six, seven, eight. Uh, so, you know, by that time you've already paid for the K&N and you never have to buy another filter. So, 
anything over that is is cost savings. Well, that's awesome. So not only do you need a cost savings, but also our landfills aren't as big. That's true. That's absolutely true. In that. Interesting. That's good. Now that we know that a paper filter, you have to change it more often. You don't have to change the cane in as often, but you do have to clean it. So since you don't have to change it, you don't have to do this and that, can the average Joe do that? Yeah, uh, it, we've never had a complaint about that. We have very good instructions. We have a cleaning kit that has everything you need in it. The oiling is super easy. We On our website, we tell you exactly how much oil to put on your filter, not just every filter. It's got exact uh, amounts to put on your filter. But we see a lot of people buy a second filter, which we don't mind at all. Um, so when they clean it, you know, it's not a hurry. They pull it off, put the other one on, and then clean the second one at their, their leisure. So who would benefit from buying a cane in filter? You know, one of the things about our filter, which is pretty amazing, is you can go 50,000 miles without servicing the filter. Um, when you look at a paper filter, that's 12,000, 15,000. So the person that really doesn't want to get under his hood doesn't even have to look at this thing for 50,000 miles, or they should look at it, but I mean, in most cases, they don't have to. So now that we know about the benefits, and now let's say we want to buy one, how do we go about buying a K&N filter? Well, you, you, know, you can buy them online at www.knfilters.com. You put your vehicle information in, and it'll show you every product that we make for that vehicle, not just air filters. Or you can buy it online at another seller, or uh, there's auto parts stores all over the place that sell our filters. Thanks for watching this episode. If you guys have any other questions or any other comments or something like that you guys like us to talk about, go ahead and just kind of type that in our comment section. Jerry, thanks again. Thank you. See you next time.